Oh my goodness. Just almost by the 11, 11 hour. I had a mosquito trying to get my attention in case you see my attention going elsewhere. Hi, how you doing? Happy new week. Happy new moon. Happy still in the lion's gate astrological portal of uh, alignment between our sun and our next closest sun. Sirius, hope you're feeling that nice pink and blue and white energy coming through. I am doing that and uh, as usual, moving a little bit slower than I could be. Say usual, sometimes I move a lot faster than I could be, huh? In fact, most of the time. <laughs> Anyhow, I'm still silly, so don't worry. Not to worry and not to fear. We got all that going on. As usual, I'm here to check in with myself. I am uh, also, as usual, dealing with technical difficulties and making the best of all of that. Let's see if I can find a spot in camera. Don't have to do sitting down stretches today. Uh, let's just do a little free arm swinging to start with. As usual, I'm going to do a little listening to my own body and checking in and strengthening and stretching. And I invite you to join me to whatever degree feels good in your body. You can follow along to some extent. Or you can totally do your own thing. Uh, I won't even know unless you tell me. But also, the main idea is to encourage you to... Ah, move a little bit, stretch a little bit, maybe try out a movement or two that you don't always do, give you permission to be a little silly, remind you to breathe and smile and let go of stress, cause uh, there's more stress where that came from, you don't need to hold on to every stress, you let go of the stresses and not worry, cause there'll be more stresses coming to you. Better problems and bigger bills if you're doing it right, I think. That's how, how it works out. <laughs> I'm going to take a breath or so. Bring my attention into the bottoms of my feet. Make sure not to lock those knees. Get my feet relatively parallel and under these hips. Check in with the alignment ear over shoulder, shoulder over hip, hip over ankle. In a nice aligned fashion, hanging from the center of the sky and rooted in the center of the earth. Take a nice swan dive down from the hips. That's below the waist here. If I say, let me just walk you through it. I say, put your hands on your hips. That's your waist. If I say, bend from the hips. That's where your legs go into your pelvis right there that ball and socket joint, bending from there, all the way down, past the waist, past the hips, making sure again not to lock those knees and just hanging here for a breath or so, letting gravity do some unwinding. You can bend the knees, put the hands on the ground if you want, and then practice stretching those back out. For me, it helps to pay attention to really relaxing the belly, relaxing the back. Sometimes a little tap feels good. Let's come down the backs of the legs, just checking in with the backs of the knees, the backs of the ankles, saying hello to the toes. And I'm going to slowly roll up and check in with the front of the body, shins, knees, thighs. Oh, I've got cement on me or so hips already coming through the midriff checking in with all these organs saying hello to the chest the lungs the heart Just smooth down the arms a little bit dislodge any stagnant energy get the flow back a happening <laughs> I'm going to roll down slowly this time. Still just checking in with the spine. Do a nice slow roll. Again, past the waist, all the way down to the hips. Bend in the knees if need be to come on down. Hands on the floor and then 
then slowly trying to straighten those legs back out. Not, not in a locked knee position though. Just exploring that stretch, relaxing the belly, relaxing the back, relaxing the head and neck. I'm gonna make sure these feet are below the hips and then bending the knees, swinging the arms back. Coming into a counter stretch, lifting the arm, or I mean the chest and the eyes, letting the arms just fall back, pushing the hips forward. Just enjoying that back bend a little bit. Checking in with the spine still. Coming up to back in front and center. Ah. Let's do another swan dive down with a relatively flat back again from the hips. Again, not locking the knees. Just checking in with that spine. Shaking out the shoulders a little bit. And then I'm going to pull up in the pelvic floor, back in the abdomen, and give myself a nice hug. Left elbow over right, pulling these shoulder blades apart. Feels good to give a little squeeze and just rounding the spine. Tucking the chin, tucking the tailbone. Really pulling into that roundness. And then letting all that go again from the hips. Coming down into a forward fold, just relaxing that. Maybe coming over to the left a little bit. And over to the right a little bit, back to center. And then I'm gonna come up again this time, right elbow over left. Again, pulling up in the pelvic floor, back in the abdomen. Tucking the chin and the pelvis, pulling these shoulder blades apart, giving myself a nice hug. Ah, there's a ka-chunk. <laughs> I'm just enjoying pushing into that roundness a little bit, pushing and pulling, actively stretching into that, and then I'm going to let all that go with a more passive stretch. Again, just hanging here from the hips. Ah. Let's roll up nice and slow, still just checking in with the spine, one vertebra at a time, coming back to upright, shake all that out a little bit, I'm going to step forward just a little bit so I can step backwards with this left foot forward, pulling that back hip forward, forward hip back, looking for a perpendicular line with the hips, relatively parallel lines with the feet. Nice and long and strong through the core, tipping that tailbone under a little bit. Pushing into that back heel, checking that these front, the front toe, uh, front knee is not crunching past the front toes and consistently working to pull these hips into that perpendicular line. Gonna bring the arms up, dropping those shoulders, and then pushing onto this diagonal line. Pushing that back heel out just a little bit more for a little deeper lunge. Ah, I'm just enjoying that diagonal line. I'm going to keep pouring in that back heel out further and further, coming into a deeper and deeper lunge. And then I'm going to bring this left hand down on the inside of this right foot. Great twisting. Aeroplane pose, nice ringing out of the organs, gazing up past these right fingertips, and then bringing those around the back to increase that twist a little bit more, gazing out past that long leg. Just using this for torque, giving all those organs a nice ringing out, a nice hello, a little check. Hmm. Unwinding all of that, I'm going to bring this hand down on the outside of that front foot and straightening that front leg, just draping the body over that front leg for a nice stretch. And then bringing weight onto those hands, I'm going to bring that front foot back to meet the back foot. Pressing into downward facing dog or upside down triangle. Fingers are wide, palms are strong. Pressing through the spine, tipping the tailbone toward the back of the head. Pressing the heart toward the earth. Pressing the heels toward the earth. Let's bend that right knee and push into the left heel a bit more. Bend the left 
knee and push into the right. And again, push it into the left and push it into the right. One more time on the left, one more time on the right, and then push in again into both heels. Just noticing how that range of motion improves a little bit over time. And then I'm going to sweep the body forward, lifting the chest and the eyes through the shoulders, making sure not to sink in the shoulders, but sinking in the belly, letting that belly just drop, keeping the legs together. Using the butt to protect the low back if necessary. Uh, add a nice tongue stretch there to stretch the whole front of the body. Just letting the belly sag. You can even go one side then the other a little bit. Increasing that range of motion. And then I'm going to make sure not to sink in those shoulders but lifting. And then lifting those hips as well, pushing back through the palms, through the spine, tipping the tailbone toward the back of the head, pressing into those heels. And then I'm going to swing that left foot forward in between the hands for a nice deep lunge. Ah, I like to add some heavy sighs because that is a good way to dissipate stress as well. Stepping forward with that back foot. I'm just hanging here in a forward fold. Check in with the jeans and socks and then bending the knees, swinging the arms back. Coming again into a bit of a counter stretch. Pushing the hips forward, lifting the chest and the eyes. Letting the arms do what they feel like doing. And coming back to center. I'm gonna step back now with the right foot. It was a little, a little situating. It's a good time to remind you, you don't need any special outfit or even to brush your hair to check in with your body to a little stretching and strengthening. I'm going to, after stepping back with that right foot again, work on pulling that back hip forward, forward hip back, tucking the tailbone under a little bit, making sure that this front knee isn't crunching past the front toes and pushing into that back heel. Looking for a perpendicular line with the hips, parallel lines with the feet. I'm just enjoying that. And then I'm going to lift the arms, making sure not to crunch up in the shoulders and push onto that diagonal line. Really feeling for an energetic line out that back heel, through the spine, out the fingertips. Again, checking not to crunch up in those shoulders. And then I'm going to slowly just eke that back foot back so it slowly ends up coming off the heel and onto the toe and then bringing this right foot down right hand down on the inside of the left foot and again enjoying a twisting side triangle airplane pose gazing up past those left fingertips and I'm going to bring this arm around to reach for that opposite hip gazing out past that long leg and enjoying a nice ringing out of the organs. You can hear my lung complaining just a little bit there and some other things talking to me. It's important to listen while you're doing the movements and playings and little things. The more we can listen to ourselves and each other, our bodies, I think the more we learn, the better we can respond. Ah, just enjoying that ringing out of all the organs, that nice twisting sensation. I'm going to unwind all of that and bring this left hand down on the outside of that left leg and straightening that front leg, just draping the body down that front leg for a partial forward fold, pressing into this back heel. Just enjoying that stretch for a breath or so, and then I'm going to bring weight onto those hands and bring this front foot back to meet the back foot again. Pressing through the palms, through the spine, tipping the tailbone toward the back of the head, pressing into those heels. Mm. I have not done a push up in months. Dare I try a push up today? I'm feeling. Feeling like it might be a good day to try it on my 
I'm going to try it right in front of y'all live, and I might fail, and that's okay. I like to do one or three slow push-ups. As it's been months, I'm going to try one. Keeping elbows in close to the body, coming down and holding at the bottom for a brief breath or so. And then pushing back up. Yay! First push-up in months since before my arm blew up. That feels good. I'm going to push back again into that downward facing dog. Pressing the heart toward the earth. Pressing the heels into the earth. And then swinging that right foot forward to a nice deep lunge again. I like to bounce in the deep lunge. Some people don't like to bounce. You get to decide for you if you like to bounce or not to bounce. Totally your choice. Ah, I encourage you to try a little of each if you're not sure. It's generally my strategy. <laughs> it works for me. You do what works for you, though. I'm going to step forward with that back foot, coming back into a forward fold. And again, just hanging here. Letting the spine unwind, letting gravity do some unwinding. Relaxing the belly, relaxing the back. I'm going to bring these palms together and roll the elbows towards each other, roll the shoulder blades towards each other. Just get deeper into that stretch. Really getting a stretch through the shoulders, through the chest. And I'm going to actively stretch that a little bit. Just imagining my triceratops ridges. <laughs> Going a little to the left and right, just exploring that range of motion. And then I'm going to relax those arms, bring the hands down again, and again check in with the body. Smoothing down the backs of the legs, giving the knees a little love, calves a little love, ankles, toes. Coming back up with a slow roll up. Let's check in with the knees again. Thighs again. Hips. Pelvis. Reproductive organs. Digestive organs. Circulatory and more digestive and breathing and circulatory organs. Hey, everybody. Gonna do a little more rigorous tapping on the arms and getting ready to go lift some more heavy stuff, maybe. Although that one push-up might have been all I got in me. It's getting warm again, and I may have missed the window, and I'm uh, grateful that I have cultivated a life where I have some degree of flexibility. So maybe I'll make it out to the trees, and maybe I won't. We will see. But in any case, doing what I can to let go of some stress. Oh, I do... I do declare my clap snaps are back. I did a push up, I got my clap snaps back. I think I'm officially recovered. It was, uh, was it June 5th or 6th that my elbow burst ruptured after about a full month of a steady increase in an autoimmune flare up, which is something I've lived with most of my entire life for 40 years or so now. I'm 50, but uh, was probably about 10 when I started to be reach a critical stage with autoimmune stuff that led me to go to many, 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 many doctors who still to this day don't have an answer for me. So uh, the silver lining of that is that I have had to take responsibility for my own health. And in doing that, I've come to understand that regular letting go of stress, movement, eating healthily and breathing well are really the foundation of wellness. <laughs> Go figure. It's uh, really no new information there, is there? Anyway, I hope you are doing all or some of those things to take good care of your own health and wellness. I hope you're feeling well. A good part of wellness is also just managing that monkey mind and not letting yourself be distracted as in losing traction and spinning your wheels in into the oblivion but rather uh yeah letting go of stress refocusing on what you want 
let me know if I can help you with any of that. That is a big part of my work. And uh, I thank you again for stopping by, for joining me. It's good to see some of you out there. Steven, Ricky, Chifo, good to see you. Some new faces out there. I can't actually see your faces, but I can see your names from here. Thank you for stopping by. I hope you're remembering to love yourself because you are worth it. And I wish you a happy day. And I will be seeing you. Peace.